Officially shattered 500 subscribers are still going so that's really really nice and uh, more importantly very encouraging to make more future content um, I also started a patreon so that way um, I can get you guys more weekly updates it's just kind of hard when one I'm busy with my own actual employment job and then it's also very uh, expensive as you all know to have several guns and to be modifying several guns and shooting several guns and going through especially because I try to do like higher round count stuff so you know, even for the staccato that's been to the channel, my goal is to get that, you know, 10 to, you know, 10,000 plus rounds with the, um, you know, uh, Ignis ports just to see how, you know, things hold up over time. It's really, everyone does a thousand round review of things and it doesn't really help a whole lot. Every gun I would, you know, at least minimally, minimally require that you should expect to get at least a thousand rounds through it. So it doesn't really help anything. I mean, you know, even if it's a, a cheaper gun, we really should be getting higher round counts. I'm sure somebody who's buying a gun expects to shoot more than a thousand round rounds over its course of lifespan. So it doesn't really help people too much. And that's kind of what my channel's here to do is to help, you know, new people that know nothing about guns get a gun that's going to be, you know, essentially reliable for the whole entire life of the gun that they have or you know for a long time at least uh depending on how much you use it or don't use it and that's really important also to talk about do's and don'ts of the uh you know guns that you are getting so i have a pretty cool uh video coming next week for uh you know do's and don'ts for the p320 fcus uh, had a very very good learning lesson and actually costing me a lot of money so i'm going to talk about that next week however today we're continuing the chronicles of the um, sig x macro um, but yes i wanted to yeah just really emphasize if you like what you're seeing um, i'm just doing minimum donations so if you like the channel unless you want to do more um, I still need to learn. I just started a Patreon, so the link is in the description. Uh, and I'd really, really appreciate everyone who donates. My sole purpose for that is to get ammunition to uh, bring more shooting content to the channel. I do have a pretty cool video that's going to come in the next couple months. I'm still waiting. So the Radiant Ramjet has been on my radar for a long time. Um, I've contacted multiple companies. It's like near impossible to get one and I have solidified a spot to receive one. So I will have that video coming to the channel pretty soon. So it'll be a little bit more fair comparison for the SIG uh, M18 versus the uh, Glock now that we both have some sort of way to reduce recoil. So I think that's going to be pretty cool and I'll, I'll judge it next to a regular Glock just so that way we can get a gauge on how much felt recoil is the case because they advertise it's a 44% reduction and then also um, you know the SIG M18 when I ported that I mean it's significantly less uh, recoil so I want to see how they stack up between the two um, and see if I can help some people with you know what they're wanting to do but nevertheless let's get back to this one so this is the SIG X macro so I talk later about timelines and everything like that now this video was completely made on accident i was not expecting to pull the gun apart after i'd cleaned it and got rid of all the rust um but i explain it in further detail later on so i just wanted to make this as the introduction so that way you could understand also thank all my subscribers and talk about the patreon and um, future content that's coming to the channel but let's open this up so this is the actual firearm so here she is um looks exactly the way they sent it off other than they sent me a new fcu which i talk about later they cleaned it um and they lubricated it and then more importantly they gave me a new barrel so let's take it apart yes this is my original recoil spring i was just making sure they didn't change out my recoil spring which I, I wouldn't have had a problem with that, but I was just wanting to make sure because they said they shot it. Um, but it looks like all they did was add a little bit of, of uh, lubricant to it. So yeah, brand new barrel. And they shot it a couple times. They said that in the in the um, thing they sent me, but um, that is it. So and you can see this one's getting built up on the outside here. I noticed that on the first barrel I had 
it gets quite a bit of build up there and it's hard to get it off later on but nevertheless um, they said everything is more than fine uh, they checked everything out there's nothing really to be concerned with they said so uh, nevertheless this is pretty much the end for this guy for me um, not that I've had an abundance of problems but um, I have my own uh, stigmas over it and I think that SIG definitely took care of me and they're very polite they're very quick it was some of the best customer service I've actually ever had but for me uh, with this one having that barrel issue and my wife's not that's just been enough for me and I personally just don't have any use for it with it with it being the size that it is um, I'd rather just personally carry my M18 they're close to the same weight uh, they're right around the same grip length um, and I personally just enjoy the recoil impulse of my M18 especially since I've got it uh, or ported now Well, in all, hopefully that's, this video is going to bring some closure to you guys. Um, I won't talk anymore, but, um, you know, hopefully this has helped a lot of you. Um, and if you're facing the same similar issues, uh, please feel free to reach out. And uh, I could even try to see if I could help you get in contact with the SIG rep that I spoke with and help point you in the right direction. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. And again, um, all the video that you're going to see came up uh, spontaneously. So I apologize. It was all taken off my phone. At the time, my GoPro was dead. And I didn't feel like, you know, personally charging it because I it was both my batteries were dead. I couldn't find my SD card. It was proven to be too much of a hassle. I couldn't find where I left it. So I recorded it on my phone. And hopefully, um, you know, this just gives you an update. If you're having problems with your P365, this will help out. So thanks so much and stay tuned for the future videos. What's up, guys? So Gun for Newbies back here today. Just an update on the P365 um, for this coming week. Um, I went ahead and so what I did is I had a lot of comments that were, oh, well, you need to oil the gun more, blah, 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 blah. So I doused it in oil after I spent hours getting all the rust off, scrubbing it, getting it completely clean. Um, and it's really hard to see because I scrubbed it so much, but, um, like this one, I specifically stopped. So you could see it's literally just pulling a ton of rust off. It's all like orange, like copper color. Um, and I have several of them, I mean, just flat out all over. Um, and you can even see towards the base more. It's a lot more copper color. Um, and I think that I actually, I figured out what it is. So, um, it's actually heaviest on the barrel and the, um, actual materials flaking off of the bottom of the barrel. So I think that since this is exposed metal, this is creating rust. Just little bits of rough patches on the do you see that right here there's little patches of that that's all that's left again but just to show you there's literally i mean it should not be changing to that brownish copper color that's just not what a gun does if you have a gun you're not going to have a single one let alone one that you just doused in oil to sit in the closet and i think that this is I mean, I know exposed metal does cost rust. I mean, there's got to be a protective layer on it. Um, and this one's completely, you know, coming undone. You really can't tell from the top. Obviously, there's just two little um, wear marks there. But on the bottom, that's a ton of DLC to be missing or nitride, whatever the they use. And you can even see, I mean, it's blatantly. I'm trying to see if I can get my camera to focus. It's blatantly right there. So it's been an interesting journey with the P365X Macro, especially since my wife doesn't have this issue. Uh, I'm going to double check that before I um, say too much. Um, but it is, it's, it's a problem because as you get, uh, it, you know, bare metal, it's starting to transfer to the magazines even. I know it's just starting there, but you can blatantly see it turns the copper color. So it doesn't turn that, you know, it, it's like, it turns like that high polish color because you scrape the metal or the protective coating off and then it starts to rust at the mag. So this is obviously a problem um, <clears throat> that won't seem to go away for me. And I think that that's sorely it. Now, let's see if we can get, no, that's not what I want. There we go. And you can see it's starting to come back on the trigger mechanism there as well. It's starting to get that color again, starting to get the little stubble from the rust, and it's starting back up. So, um, 
got to clean it all. I'm going to take the FCU back out, do it all over again. I think that's really what my issue is, though, is that coating on that barrel. So if you have a P365 of any sort, and uh, this is the 3.1-inch barrel that they use, and that's just out of the X-Macro um, slide, be sure to uh, pay attention to that. Because if you're shooting it a lot and your um, coating's gone, that's what's causing your rust, at least from one of the things that's causing the rust. The other thing could just be poor um, covering on the slide, but I, I genuinely think it's the barrel. So thanks guys, um, and see you next time. Another update, I just pulled out more um, from the back side of the slide. It's actually bare metal there on the bottom U where the recoil spring goes into. So there is a couple um, different things that are going on here and uh, nevertheless pay attention to your stuff uh this obviously i mean if this is your bad side gun or carry gun and you don't check it you just oil it uh you know you just had a couple drops of oil or some people don't even oil their guns or you know pay attention they just leave it in you know bedside stand or whatever for years i mean this is obviously was a very used gun when i first got it and i've cleaned it several times and you know to the best of my ability and you know scrubbed all the rust away and then recoated it with oil now this is the you know more than the second time but um, just due to all the comments, I did this uh, specifically on purpose to get a little bit more of the uh, evidence. However, in the future, I will clean it with you guys if it does it. I, I mean, it will do it again. It will do it again. So there's really no point in beating a dead horse. But this is what's I think, causing it, a uh, connection between this and this. Um, and it's transferring to everything else. So, again, thanks, guys, for following me on this journey. And stay tuned. All right, guys, so since we started this journey on the iPhone, I guess we'll finish this one on the iPhone. So <clears throat> I recently just got off the phone um, because of my barrel issue um, with the SIG, and you can even see it's completely gone, the coating. And they said that was uh, obviously not the case, blah, 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 that's that. And then I'm also having another issue with this guy's extreme play in the slide, so you can see it's all the way to the back. And then it moves. So I can probably. It's actually moving. All right, guys, what's up? Back with the P365X Macro Chronicles uh, of the Rust story. So essentially what happened is I sent the gun off. Um, now, I sent the gun off, I think, on uh, – uh, it was a Thursday. It arrived on a Thursday. That is inspected it on Friday, and then they mailed it back to me starting on Saturday, and then it took – it was two-day uh, mail. So it took a little bit to uh, get here. And this is how I got it back, so I haven't even opened it yet. It came with a Ziploc, funny enough, which is identically how the uh, FFL dealers get them. So I thought that was kind of cool. Let's see. So here's what they said. Barrel finish is flaking. FCU's lip uh, loose in the grip. And Russ seems to be forming in the FCU. Um... Firearm inspection, uh, replace barrel, bad DLC finish, grip module loose, uh, recover pin, polished by customer. I, I don't know what that means. Receiver pin polished by customer. Well, I replaced it. Um, lubricated pistol, um, tested. So it doesn't say in here, but they called me and they said I got a new, brand new barrel. And they replaced my FCU for free. So... 
Uh, looks like that is my old, uh, it was a NDZ performance pin. So the reason I got this pin is because my FCU was loose, which, um, you know, you'd seen in the video. And then it uh, looks like they rewrapped it all for me, which is pretty cool. Um, and they gave me a brand new FCU, or uh, yeah, fire, not FCU, but brand new grip module. So let's take this guy back out. It's kind of hard to do one handed. I don't have a mount for my actual iPhone. So there it is looks like it does have a new barrel so and then they said that essentially what happened is um or what they're saying is that they had their like engineering people look at it and essentially the gun oil that i was using was keep uh, turning it that rust color um so interesting i'm thinking it was a combination of and maybe it was the gun oil because it might have some toxicity but the bare metal uh combined with that um it's just it's uncommon it's not on any of my other guns i mean you're supposed to use gun oil and that's what i'm using it might you know and they sell like higher end gun oil um but oil's oil um and if you're using a higher non-toxic, non-anything, uh, you know, a completely like water-based solution or something like that, could it be better? Yes, it could. Uh, but it just depends on what your manufacturer recommends that you should use. But even then, um, I don't think that that should be enough to cause that. But if it is just uh, clumped up deposits of oil, which it did come off for the most part very easy, then that's something, but it was getting a lot of like forming on the actual, uh, on the actual like trigger guard and FCU. So I don't really know guys, but nevertheless, they said it didn't impede the actual function. It didn't do anything that was out of the ordinary. So, you know, I guess this is where this guy ends up. So we got a brand new FCU, which is pretty cool. Or I keep saying FCU grip control module. Uh, so our grip module, that's just what we'll call it. And, uh, so we got a new grip module and we got a new barrel and that's pretty it. it uh, pretty much it. I sent it out on Tuesday, it arrived there Thursday, and then it would have gotten delivered yesterday, but I missed it. So yesterday was Monday. So, uh, now it's Tuesday. So I will edit all the videos together and put them all together. So that way you guys see, and if you are having a likewise experience, you can send it into SIG and that would take care of you pretty quick. I was actually very surprised with how quick the turnaround is, especially because I had an MMP shield before my current MMP shield and actually had so many problems I ended up selling it. Now, when I sent that off to Smith & Wesson, it actually took them about two and a half months to send me my gun back. So this one being gone out of my possession for less than a week, including shipping, arrival, inspection, repair, testing, and shipping back to me. Personally, for all the bad complaints you hear about SIG, this was a 10 out of 10 experience for me. Um, I should have done this sooner, and I did it because of my experience with the Smith & Wesson. So do not feel that it is over for you or anything like that. If you have a spare gun and you can go a week without having you know, this, this one, I would recommend doing it because it is a really, really quick turnaround time. And all you have to do... So what I did is I called customer service and I explained to them and I took pictures and I was ready. So that way they asked me over the, we we're talking on the phone. I sent them the email and then the guy was super understanding, got me a uh, return label to SIG within probably 10 minutes. I had mailed it out that same day and that's pro uh, started the whole process. So it started on Tuesday, ended on Tuesday, but really it would have been six days had I not have missed the delivery. And it's just been fantastic, man. Uh, you know, it's pretty reassuring. And the fact they gave me a brand new grip module, and I was honest with the, the guy. I said, you know, it's got about 4,000 rounds plus through it. I tried to, like, lower it a little bit just so that way, you know, I, I didn't want him to be like, oh, it's a, a gun with a ton of rounds through it or anything like that. I think real, in all reality, it, it's got, it's got, I know it has more than that. I don't know, you know, how much more. I don't know the exact round count, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm very pleased with the process. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. That was the quickest turnaround. They're super, super on top of communication. Uh, Friday, he called me and said, hey, it's coming back out of the mail. He told me everything that they did to it. I, I'm very happy with it. So again, I'll stop rambling, but thank you guys so much for, for um, seeing everything. And, you know, we'll catch you in the future for the future videos.